In this session, we're going to look at the Civil 3D 2017 improvements that have to do with the interface. I have a drawing open on my screen. It's called 01 Interface Subfolders. I'm going to start by creating a feature line. Here on the Home tab in the Create Design panel, I'll open the Feature Line menu and I'll choose Create Feature Line. Now we create feature lines the same way in Civil 3D 2017. Note here at the top of the dialog box, we have the default site one. We know that if we create feature lines within the same site, they will interact with each other. They will cross at a common elevation. The fact is you may not always want that interaction. So in Civil 3D 2017, we can now create sightless feature lines. Feature lines that are sightless will not interact in the event they cross. I'm going to call this feature line sample. We'll keep the default style and I'll click OK. I will then click to place this on screen and I'll press enter to accept the elevation. I'll do that a few more times to create this object. Typically we will find feature lines within their respective sites. If you have sightless feature lines though in Civil 3D 2017 you will find them in this new feature lines category. If I select the category, drag up the preview area, you can see that I have several sightless feature lines in this drawing. There's the one that we just created. Let me drag this back down. And just for a second, I'm going to open the surfaces category. Note that we have several surfaces in this file. I've got an existing ground. I have some surfaces associated with the corridors that I've created to make up this roadway model. I also have an overall top surface, which is a composite of these other three surfaces. I'm going to right click on the surfaces category and I'll choose create folder. In Civil 3D 2017, we can now organize the items on our prospector tab into folders. I'm going to call this folder working surfaces. I'll click OK. I can then select the items I'd like to put in that folder. I can use my shift key or my control key to select these. And then I will just drag and drop them into the folder. So this gives us the ability to organize the items on the prospector tab. Now we're not limited to just surfaces. Let me come down to alignments. I'll open up the miscellaneous alignments category and you can see I have several alignments in here, many of which are associated with medians. Let's create a folder for those. I'll right click on the category and choose create folder. I'll call this medians. I'll click OK, and then I will select and drag these items into the folder. I will then collapse that. Let's come down a little bit further. Let's open up corridors. Here we can see the three corridors that I've created to build up this roadway model. I'm going to create a folder for those as well. In the event, we'll assume I'm going to create additional corridors in this drawing. I'll choose Create Folder, and I'll call this Route 23 Corridors, and I'll click OK. I will then select my corridors and we'll drag them into the folder. I can also drag them out of the folders if I want to. If I right click on a folder, I can create a folder within a folder. I can also rename the folders and I can delete folders. If you try to delete a folder, it will ask you if you want to delete the objects as well or if you'd like to move those objects into the parent collection. In this case, I'm going to choose Cancel. At this point, you may be wondering which of the other items in the Prospector tab can support folders. Let me drag this down to the bottom. The folders are associated with the objects that we can share via data shortcuts. So I can create folders for surfaces, alignments, pipe networks, pressure networks, corridors, and view frame groups. I can do that up here in the drawing, or I can do it down here in the project. Just for a second, let's create a project. I'm going to go to the Manage tab, and let me set my working folder. I'm going to set that to the default Civil 3D 2017 folder here called Civil 3D Projects. I'll click OK. I will then create a new project. I'll do that here on the Data Shortcuts panel. We'll choose New Shortcuts folder, and I'm going to call this project OTX Sample. I'm not going to use a template in this case. I'll just come down and click OK. Then I'll drag the slider down here to the bottom. You can see there's my project. At this point, if I wanted to, I could create a directory structure down here. If I right click on surfaces, you can see there's create folder. Let me right click on another one, there's create folder. Now that I have created a project, let's add the data from this drawing to that project. Once again, we'll come back up to the manage tab and I'll click the create data shortcuts button. I would like to share the surfaces, the alignments. Let me drag this down. Notice in Civil 3D 2017, we can now share our corridors via data shortcut. I will select those as well and I'll click OK. Let's come back over to the prospector. I'll drag down to my project, and if I expand the surfaces group, notice the directory structure goes along for the ride. Let's drag this down. I'll open up corridors. You can see the folder in there as well. So now that I've organized my data and I've added it to a project, we are ready to bring that data into another drawing such that we can talk about some of the new functionality with respect to data references, and we'll do that in the next session. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.